Hello and welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investors. And from time to time, I give you an update on my German or European portfolio. And today I want to talk about the best performer in November 2020. And this is starting with Fraport, the provider mainly of the Frankfurt Airport but also the provider of a lot of other airports in Europe uh, and also in South America, in Lima, Fortaleza or Porto Alegre. And so, of course, also Fraport is hit very hard by the pandemic situation. The traffic dropped 83.4% in October and year to date, um, the traffic fell 71.6% because of low passenger demand. And so, of course, they have big, big problems. But unless these problems and with the uh, positive news on the vaccine sector with Moderna, Pfizer, and yesterday also AstraZeneca, Fraport uh, just rise in the month of November 8% to now 49 euro. So this is an immense rise in a short period of time. And so also my position went up a lot. And so with 58 over 58% in November, this is my top performer of this month. But as we can see on the long term chart, there's still a lot of room um, to the pre pandemic stock prices around 80 or even in the peak around 100 euro. Fairport was a high profitable company before the pandemic and when the world come to normal or at least a little bit to normal, um, they will be high profitable. Again, a very, very healthy company. Um, and so I stay here for the long term and was able to buy in the depth of the pandemic for a very reasonable price of a little bit under 39 euro. My second best performer in November is Airbus. Airbus of course also have very very big problems um, with the pandemic situation because all the aviation sector is just not working. I talked about that a lot in my videos about Air Canada and the problems there. Also in my uh, video about Boeing. And so the Airbus CEO says the industry might need until 2025 to reach pre-crisis levels. And so also here are big problems, of course, but Airbus have a very strong market position and also compared to Boeing, a very, very solid balance sheet. And so for me, Airbus is here the better option compared to Boeing. And so with the very positive news on the vaccine front lately, Airbus was able to rise from 63 euro to now 92 or almost 93 euro um, or 48 percent. And of course, that's great. And I was able to buy my shares of Airbus also in the pandemic crisis um, in March and April for around 57 euro. And so I'm up quite a bit. But also here, um, there is way to go to the pre-pandemic levels. Um, the peak was around 140 euro. And so there's a little bit to go. And my third best performer in November was Allianz, the big German insurance. And they went, went up just in November, uh, almost 33% to now around 200 euro. And even with the stock price, the price earnings ratio or in German Kurs Gewinn Verhältnis is just 12 with a dividend yield of 4.88%. And so it still seems like Allianz is not very expensive even at these price levels and after the rise. And Allianz, even in these very difficult times, also for insurances, of course, uh, was able to rise the net profit, but the revenue declines. And of course, overall, it's difficult times for insurances, also for banks, just because 
of the low interest rate level we have and we have for quite a while now and also for the foreseen future but still Allianz is able to uh, make profits and so also the dividend seems quite safe. And also here um, there is still way to go to the pre-pandemic levels and so overall my European or almost German portfolio looks very good. Um, almost all positions are in the green and I have this portfolio uh, since around five years and so I'm quite happy uh, especially lately with the gains and with the rise of the whole portfolio. And I also made another video where I go through all of these positions in the portfolio. Also check this out. And if you are new to my channel, uh, normally here on this channel I talk about my North American portfolio with a lot of US companies but also some Canadian companies. And so also feel free to check this out. And uh, here you have uh, a view on all my positions in my North American portfolio and you find on my channel a deeper analysis of all these companies where I go through the businesses, through the balance sheet, um, to all the important financial numbers, calculate the intrinsic value and then explain when and why I bought these companies. And with this portfolio um, which I started at the 2nd of December 2019. Uh, I have a performance of almost 36%, which is an outperformance to the S&P 500 over the same time span of almost 20%. And I'm very, very happy about that. So if you want to know more about that, just check out my channel and you will find a lot of analyzers for these North American companies. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you found any value, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on my road to financial freedom. And if you really liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up. This helps my channel a lot and the YouTube algorithm. Ring the notification bell to never miss another video and then we will see you the next time with another analysis of another stock. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.